So this guy had just moved in with me. In less than 24 hours, he went from being awesome to being the biggest prick I've ever met. So one day, he was sitting on my suede couch with a box of cereal, half a gallon of milk, a serving bowl and a spoon. He was in his bathrobe and didn't move all day. He would just fill the bowl, put the cereal and milk on the ground and eat and stare at the TV. So in the evening, he's watching Law and Order, screaming at the TV about fucking cops and how they were bastards and whatnot. I was in the dining room staring at my laptop. Um what the fuck? So anyway I was in the dining room staring at my laptop and trying to figure out how to get this piece of shit out of my house. So he stands up to go outside and smoke, making a snide remark about what a bitch I was for making him smoke outside, despite the fact that this was agreed upon before him moving in. His nasty remark made me look up. Just in time to see a load of sheet plop from his robe to my floor. So I jump up and shriek, what the fuck? He gives me a nasty look and walks toward the bedroom, leaving a trail of sheet. I see the back of his robe and it's smeared with sheet that he has obviously been sitting in for a time. I freak out and run toward the couch to get my dogs out. He walks toward the bedroom, shrugging off his robe and dropping it on the floor, then gets my robe and puts it on his sheet smeared ass, then heads outside to smoke. I'm sensing a trend here. Doesn't this sheet happen to you a lot? I think it's possible that I subconsciously seek out men who make me feel healthy in comparison have exhibited poor judgment quite a few times, and in a few specific incidents with this particular man. However, he truly did go from being a kind, attentive, affectionate, supportive guy into being an abusive couch shitter overnight. Within 16 hours of him moving in, he demanded that I cancel my lawn service and mow the grass myself, despite the fact that it was my house and I paid for the lawn service, and we had chalked financial details extensively before I let him move in minus zero, five and had the audacity to suggest that I leave my doctoral program to be his personal assistant. Oh how the fuck dare he? Sarcasm intended. The day of the couch shitting incident, I packed up all my animals, got a few blankets and hunkered down in one of my parents' empty rental houses for a few days. I came back to tell him that he had to leave and had two weeks to get out. Every day for those two weeks I'd ask about his progress with finding a place and packing and whatnot. Every day, he told me he wasn't leaving and that if I didn't like it, I should go stay with my parents. On the 14th day, I called my brother and said, Listen, I told this motherfucker that he had two weeks to get out. Today is two weeks. He hasn't even tried to find a place and told me to move in with mom and dad. My brother was at my house with a new lock in less than half an hour. He changed the lock, then took a dining room chair and sat in front of the door, blocking it, waiting for this guy to get home. When the guy turned up, my brother, get in my truck. Ninety minutes later, they came back with a U-Haul and my brother spent a few hours loading this duck bag's sheet into it while duck bag sat on the hood of my car and smoked it. My brother then handed the guy the keys to the U-Haul, said, give me your car keys, which he did. Bro said, you make on get your truck at my house any time. Do not come back to this house, or I will kill you. My brother slept on my couch for three days. I tried to get him to at least sleep in the guest room, but he said it was too far from the front door. You got the crazy, and there is a fan sneaking up behind you.